guys, this is Tina from Shabby Dabby Doo Doo. Welcome back to my channel. So, if you saw my recent video, we made the pockets with the um, little windows. And I thought, let's come back and make them with some printed papers. We did talk about it um, in that video and kind of said that, you know, instead of using book pages, you could probably do them with, um, you know, uh, decorative papers. I'm just trying to find now one of my one of my book page ones to kind of demonstrate. Well, I've got one here that has not been quite assembled, but these were the pockets basically with the window, with the window in them. Um, so what I'm going to do today is use, instead of the book pages, I'm going to use some decorative papers. Now I'm using printables, and I know I say this all the time, I'm using printables because that's predominantly what I have these days. Um, but you could use scrapbook paper if you've, you know, if you've got a sort of stash of scrapbook paper, you could use that instead. Um, now, my principles that I'm using here, these have been printed on 110 GSM. Um, so your standard copy paper tends to be 70 to 80 GSM. This is 110. So it's definitely, it's definitely not a card or anything like that. But it's, it is thicker than your standard copy paper. So that's what I'm going to be using. Now I'm going to be using here a three inch square punch. This was what I used in the last video or you know when we made the um, book page ones. So I'm using the three inch square punch again and then I'm going to use, this is actually transparency film um, but you know you could use acetate or transparency film, you could use you know sort of laminated pouches or something like that. Um, you know, anything, so long as it's kind of see-through, really. Um, you could use vellum. We talked about using vellum in the last one. So I have got some, um, it's actually tracing paper, but obviously it's quite similar to vellum. Um, you could use that. Obviously, you're not really going to have a kind of completely see-through window, you know, like you get with the, um, you know, acetate. But maybe as a different look, it would be quite nice. So, you know, they're just kind of worth having a bit of a play around with. So... Let's kind of have a look and see what papers we've got here. So I've got um, mainly a variety between my uh, botanicals collection papers and I've also got quite a lot of my William Morris papers. So we're just going to kind of like, you know, probably flip between the two. Um, I've got some here which oh, have printed out horribly when my printer was kind of running out of ink. So yeah, we might, <laughs> might use some of that, I don't know. Um, but let's just pull in, for instance, this, uh, no, this one, I think. Yeah, let's take these couple first of all. So I'm just going to move the rest off of the desk. Hold on. Let me just clear, clear the desk and just, yeah, just check that I've got all the ones that I would quite like to use. Okay, so hopefully we've got sort of a few here with, you know, that we're going to have different sort of looks with. Now, if you saw my previous one, what we did, we just used a whole book page. So I'm thinking for these, probably the easiest way, if you know, if you're going to make them with um, certainly kind of A4, you know, copy paper size paper, the easiest way to kind of achieve, you know, a starting point for your size is take your paper and fold it in half. Now, I personally, you know, I don't use a paper trimmer or anything like that. So I'm just going to use my scissors. If I can actually now see them, they are now buried somewhere on my desk, which, oh, would you believe that? Well, I mean, if you could see my desk, you totally would believe, you know, how something could get buried. But yeah, I can't believe that now. Honestly, I felt like they were here just before I started the video. And now, of course, I'm hunting around and I can't see them anywhere. Well, this is not a good start, is it? Right, hold on a second while I get my scissors. Right, so I've got them. They were there all along, just to the side of my desk. So, what I've done, I've folded it in half. And then what I'm going to do, now you could use a paper trimmer for this if you prefer to use a paper trimmer. I'm just going to use my scissors. I'm going to snip in here. Now, I'm going over a little bit from my, you know, from my fold line. Because if I go right up to the fold line, obviously this will be like the full width of a journal page if you see what I mean because my journal pages are generally made from an A4 sheet so if I go right to the fold it will be as wide as the page so by just going over by like half an inch that gets it you know to a more kind of um yeah better size basically so as you can see obviously I've been printing kind of multi-sided multi-sided double-sided <laughs> so I've got here obviously these are my botanical papers these are the William Morris 
Um, so I'm going to do one one way round and one the other way round, just so we've got a couple of different looks. And then I'm just going to take another one. So we'll just take this one. And yeah, we've got a, a William Morris on the back in this gorgeous blue. And then we've got obviously a floral on the front. So again, just fold it down the, you know, the halfway kind of line, cut into that, you know, moving over a bit from the folded line. And then we've got, you know, another couple of, of designs. So then all you're going to do, you're going to take your punch. Now, again, I did this in the last video where I just went roughly in the middle of the paper. Now, when I say the middle, I'm talking height, you know, height wise, not over, you know, i.e. from the thing, because, you know, your punch is not allowing you to do that. So I'm just going into there like that with my punch and just punch out my square. So that one, I can probably do them a couple at a time at least. So I'll just take those. I'm so sorry if you can hear my printer. I'm obviously, you know, utilising the time and printing things at the same time as filming. So I do apologise if it's, you know, disturbing at all. Um, then I take this one and again, just punch down, you know, approximately kind of in the middle. So that's my pockets. And then all I want to do is fold them up. So if you saw the previous video, we're just going to fold them round to create our pockets. So like that. And then take the, you know, the opposite end into there. Like that. Okay. So you've got your window pocket. Now, obviously, because this is double side printed, you know, I've got non-matching papers, you know, something I wouldn't necessarily put with with the other papers. I just want to check which way around I want this. It probably doesn't really matter, but there might be, you know, one side better than the other. So this side's probably slightly better for the floral. Um, yeah, you know, I mean, obviously if yours are double-sided with something complementary, then that's fine. Obviously in, you know, my case here, these are not complementary papers. They look horrible. So I will have to cover that up, but that's all fine. So we'll cover that up in a minute. We'll just, you know, go in first of all like this. Okay. Like that. And then the final one, we're obviously doing this blue one. Like that. Okay. There we go. Oops. Okay. So that's basically what you've got. Now, what you're going to do is obviously you're going to take your acetate to make your pocket portion. Your pocket portion? Yeah, your, your pocket. Your window. Not your window. Yeah, your window. <laughs> Sorry, I'm losing the ability to speak. So you're just going to cut across like that. Okay. And then you just want to kind of make it, you know, just big enough to cover your square. So just kind of using that as a bit of a guide. Hopefully I'm going to get three out of this acetate. Oh gosh, sorry. Let me just put my glasses on so I can see slightly better. Okay, like that. And then I'm just going to cut the final one down just like this. Now I did say in the last video, I mean, Obviously, I'm not claiming this to be, you know, an original idea. I said in the last video, you know, I just hadn't really seen them done this way. I mean, obviously, I've seen different window and, uh, window pockets. But I hadn't ever seen any done quite similar, you know, quite the same way as this. So I just thought this was quite a fun and very easy way to do these. Um, but yeah, I'm not trying to claim it as my idea or anything like that. You know, I was just kind of merely saying I didn't feel that I had seen them done quite like this before so just going to unclog my glue because I haven't actually used it yet today okay right okie dokie so if you saw the last video what we do is we want to go around the inner edge of the square here 
but not too too close because you don't want the glue obviously all seeping everywhere and then you're just going to put your acetate down now what i should have done really was gone around the the edge of the acetate as well on the outer edge and i totally forgot so like that okay so that's my window oops dab off any any excess glue that's kind of seeped out okay There we go. So that's that one. And we'll just do this one. Oops. And then in the last one, I did go around, um, you know, on the sewing machine. So I will probably do that as well. It kind of finishes them off quite nicely. It, you know, creates like a bit of a frame. And as well as that, you're obviously then, you know, having an extra... An extra level of um, you know sticking it down if you know what I mean you know it's it's just another way of making sure it's kind of stuck and actually attached so there we go like that okay and then we just dab the glue out like that Oops. Sorry, now I've got glue on the back of there. These are a little bit on the messy side, I've got to say. Um, you know, don't worry too, too much because on the whole, you probably could cover bits up. Although having said that, I am now making a bit of a mess of this and actually, yeah, I'm going to struggle to, struggle to cover that up. So I'm just going to take that off and redo that one, I think. Oh, right, okay. Yeah, my desk is obviously getting a bit too messy with glue and... Um, yeah, it's hard then to avoid avoid sticking it, you know, getting it stuck onto the acetate. But right, let's try again. Attempt number two. So we go around there and around the outer edge of the acetate like that. Okay. Right, fingers crossed that I'm going to make a better job of it the second time around. Okie dokie. Right, let me just quickly make sure that's clean okay press that down with my dried wet wipe like that okay so that's better isn't it right oh, that was a bit a bit of a long-winded thing wasn't it all caused by obviously you know mucking up my glue right so then just again inside of the frame and then the outside of the frame like that, okay. Okay, dokie, right. So press that down, like that. Okay. Like that, okay. And then the final one. Just again take our acetate inside of the frame like that and then the outside okay right so place those down like that okay so what I'm going to do now I'm just going to take them across to the sewing machine and stitch the acetate around and then I'll come back and we'll kind of, um, you know, form the pockets. So I'll be back in a minute. Okay, so I'm back from the sewing machine. So we've got our, you know, our base pieces ready for our pockets. So all we're going to do is if you saw the previous video, we just kind of glued them together like this. And then we obviously fed in, you know, an extra sheet of paper in here to kind of like put something you know covering the inside up on the previous ones it was because it was kind of blank book page obviously on these you know it's because it's obviously you know not matching or coordinating you know paper it's not kind of looking looking great is it so just going to put this one in here so a bit of glue there and then a bit of glue down here now <clears throat> i did do this in the last one as well so i'm just going to do it in this as, as well is just to kind of like protect the acetate window 
which is um cut this down a bit more which is obviously gonna you know smear and look awful if i get glue on it i'm going to put this in whilst i press it together because that way if glue seeps out it's not going to affect my acetate okay so it's just a little bit of a you know precautionary measure basically so like that okay there we go oh my goodness i mean how gorgeous does that look with the book page in there it looks really nice doesn't it so yeah i might even go for the book page i'm not sure yet um but let's get them all glued together anyway and then we can decide what to put in um i still have yet to decorate the ones that we did previously so yeah we might come back and decorate maybe a couple of those and a couple of these at the same time actually would be quite fun to do so right again just take your glue straight down the edge here like that and then a bit of glue on the inner edge and then oops nearly forgot on the outer edge here to glue your pockets together or you know oops assemble your pockets pull that one out there we go like that okay so in all these papers they're all from the um collections papers um which are obviously in my shop so yeah i'm sorry to go on about it but obviously i do get lots of people then messaging me and emailing me asking what papers was i using um you know for different videos so i try my best to make an effort to actually remember to say which papers i'm using when um you know so that hopefully everyone knows then which papers are being used so again pop that into there and just a line of glue down the edge pop that on there Oops. and then here and then on the outer edge there like that Okay, press that one down. Okay. Yeah, I'm not sure which I prefer actually. I do love the William Morris papers, but having said that, I do actually really love the um, botanicals as well. They're so pretty. You know, they just look really lovely. So yeah, I'm not sure. Let me know which, which do you prefer. Do you prefer the William Morris ones or do you prefer the botanical? papers i mean to be honest you might not decide until we've decorated them you know and then maybe you'll kind of have a clear clear favorite then so inside inside edge of that one outside edge of this like that okay and just again press that on together right so i mean they don't take you know five minutes do they once you've kind of attached the window you know that's the main fiddly part but once the window is attached they're actually you know very very quick to do so that's that's that and actually that also looks lovely with the book page doesn't it so yeah now i'm thinking oh perhaps i should perhaps i should actually go with book page on the inside i was naturally kind of going to go with the um you know with patterned paper but actually i maybe would prefer them with the with the book page i'm not sure now yeah i am now in a quandary kind of deciding right let's just have a look and see what papers i've got here because i've got quite a different variety of or quite a variety of different papers so we might think you know oh that looks really good with that or not i mean that's that's quite nice to be honest I mean, strange as that sounds, it's, you know, it's quite a pretty contrast, isn't it? So let's just take that down for a minute. I've cut that way too big, but let's just take that down a bit so it actually would fit inside the pocket. Oops. I mean, that is very, very pretty, isn't it? I have to say. Yeah, the last thing I thought I would be putting in there but actually it looks lovely so I'll just trim that down slightly more so it just glides in really nicely because also it can be a little bit tricky to avoid getting the glue on that acetate you know like how we just put the book page in to protect the acetate 
it almost feels like you need to do something like that here as well. So just slide that in like that. Okay. Oh my goodness, how lovely does that look? I love the look of that. Just the pink with the brown, it just looks really, really, really pretty, I have to say. Yeah, love how that looks. So that's that one, right? Made one decision at least. Uh, right, so we have got obviously more floral. I mean, we could use floral in this one. I feel like actually the book page looks quite nice as a contrast in there. What do we think? I think maybe the book page would be quite a nice a nice contrast. Let's just check what other papers I've got. So I've got some more of the William Morris papers. Oh, I'm not sure about that. Um, I've got that one. Oh, that's quite nice actually in there. Should we try this? Let's have this one. I mean, these, like I say, they are kind of like the, um, you know, the papers that I was printing on whilst I was making my background papers because you know you get a lot of lot of leftover papers you know when you're creating the um digis really so yeah that's what I'm using for this which is brilliant because it's a brilliant way to use them up or do we prefer it like that that's quite pretty in there or I'm just going to try it in this one actually oh I don't know now I'm just going to turn it over because on the other side we've got obviously those florals. So I'm just going to see what they would look like. Anywhere. Not necessarily that part. That would look better. Let's try this in here. <laughs> That's quite pretty, isn't it? Or in here. Mm. Oh, I don't know now. Maybe I um yeah, maybe I would prefer the book page. Let me just have another look through what else I've got here. Mm, okay. Uh, oh, or I have got, yeah, I've got this one with the blue leaves. That might be quite nice. Put that one in there. And that one. Oh, do you know, I'm actually thinking maybe a, um, maybe a book page inner for these ones I mean I definitely had thought this the only thing is I feel like this is quite white compared to that paper so I mean I could ink it um shall I just try inking it for a minute just see whether that kind of looks looks better when it's inked okay Oh, now that looks too too yellowy, doesn't it? So, yeah, I've gone from one extreme to the other. So it was too white. Now it's too yellowed. So just put it in here. I mean, I quite like it in here, to be honest. Um, I'm just going to try some book page. So let me just grab in, grab in some book page. Oops. Hang on. I've just got some on my little trolley here to the side. Okay. Right. So if I just cut this down to the rough size. Just wondering whether I could even ma manage to get all three pockets from this. Probably not. Oh no, nowhere near. Sometimes it's hard to judge, isn't it? You know, you think you're going to get way more than you actually can. Right, so let's just put that to one side. Okay. Try this. Oh yeah, love it. Love it with the book page. So let's just cut that down a bit. And I will just again cut it down slightly just because exactly as I said with that other one, I want to really make sure that it's, um, you know, glides in rather than a sort of snug fit that then is tricky to, you know, to put it in there. So I just want to, you know, make sure it's going to glide. And actually, I'm just going to cut that edge off because otherwise when I put things in and out of the pocket, I don't want anything that's going to kind of like cause paper to catch. So, yeah, that's quite pretty. 
not sure whether I love the book page, I've got to be honest, with this floral one, so I might have to come back to that. Let's try it in this one. Okay. I'm not sure about that one either now. Um, I've probably got some other, some other papers here, but I don't want to waste everyone's time by kind of like going through all my, all my papers here. Honestly, I've got like a whole ton of paper here on my desk. So, yeah, let me just quickly have a bit of a kind of flick through. Most of it is the botanicals. <laughs> Losing my ability to speak. Most of it is the botanicals um, because, yeah, that's what I was obviously printing last. But I have got some other bits as well. Oh, that might look quite pretty. Oh, that's that one. Or I have it in the white. So let's check. I think maybe that actually. So yeah, let's just take this one. So, again, just going to use this as a template now. So cut that down there. I'll just try this actually. I'm going to try it in both because I think it would look probably quite pretty in both of these. Yeah, that's quite nice, isn't it? And let's just try it in this one. Yeah, I think that's quite a nice, a nice paper to have in those. So, right, let's just quickly cut this one down. Okay. okay. Right. So, let's get these all out of the way. My goodness, this seems to have taken me forever, doesn't it, to just choose the paper that was going on the inside. Now I can just picture me now sticking the wrong thing into the wrong pocket. So I need to just concentrate for a moment. Because you know what it's like, I'm so busy talking, I could very easily end up sticking the wrong thing in. I can just picture that happening. Right, there we go. So we've got the book page. Love, love, love that book page in there. That is gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. I love it against that blue. It's just yummy, I must say. So, yep, then we're going to have this one. Okay, okay. Oops. Put that in there. Like that. Okay, so, yep, liking that. Okay, and then this one. Yeah, do we like that one best or do we like the book page? Just going to just double check. Just put the book page in. I mean, to be honest, I quite like either. Um, I think, yeah, I think I probably prefer the, the pink actually. So yeah, let's put the pink one in there. So pop that one down. Like I say, I mean, you just want to be a little bit careful when you're putting this in that you don't dab it on the acetate just because you're going to then, you know, get that smeary, horrible appearance on your acetate. Just, you know, like I did, obviously, when I was gluing the acetate on. So, okay, like that. So let's pull in the three or the four pockets, which what did I do with the other one? Now I can't see that. I've covered that up now, obviously, with my huge stash of papers oh there we go here we go oh my goodness absolutely love it so obviously you know I've got a little bit of tidying up to do on the edges you know just where I had obviously my you know shoddy cutting in the first place but we just kind of ink around the edges now so I'll just ink around the edges of this one this one's my favourite, I have to say. I really, really, really love the look of the blue against that book page. It just is a really lovely combination. Like, really yummy. Yeah. Am I the only person who's thinking that? Or oh, does everyone think that just looks scrumptious? I love it. Right. Then just go around the edges of the others. I mean, you know, maybe some of them actually would look fine without the ink, but... I do like the inked edges, so yeah, just go around the edges a little bit. Like that. Oh, that's very pretty. I mean, to be honest, 
I do think the ink kind of finishes things off nicely. You know, I mean, things look fine without, but once you put the ink on, it does, you know, just give things another sort of finishing touch, doesn't it? Which just looks, you know, super scrumptious, I think. So, right, let's put those there for a minute. Now, I'm just going to have a look just to see what little bits I've got laying around on my desk. Now, it might be that I haven't really got anything much that I can pull in, but just having a look. I've got some bits here from my um, uh, Perfect Pocket kits. So, yeah, let's just have a look. I mean, we've got a little brown bow there. That's quite pretty. And then I've just got one of those paper ruffles that we've made, you know, previously. And if I just tear that down... I think just ink that as well. Oh my goodness, how lovely does that look? So I'll just ink this up so it's looking a lot more, a lot more grungy. Like that. Okay. And then the bow there, or we could even have the bow on the ruffle, I suppose, but no, I think it's it's quite nice on the edge. Oh my goodness. I mean, doesn't that look lovely? And then if I just grab a bit of lace. Okay. I don't know how this is going to look, but I'm just going to try this. So I'm just going to cut that lace down sort of similar size to the ruffle. Okay. Just cut that down. Okay, like that. And then I'm kind of thinking, you know, something like that. Oh my goodness, how yummy does that look? And that's just come together in, you know, five seconds flat, hasn't it? So, right, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to... Um, I think I'm going to glue that lace down a little bit with the, you know, tacky glue. Just to hold it in place a bit. And I'm just going to take my paper ruffle and just glue that down over the top of the lace oh my goodness how scrumptious does this pocket look you know and there's literally just nothing to this is there I mean we've just got the decorative paper the um you know book page and then you know a little handmade ruffle and then some lace little bow and then finishing touch I think probably is some bling going down the paper ruffle now do we want it right the way down or just a little bit. I mean, the reason I've pulled in just a little bit was because that was what was left on my desk, to be honest. But yeah, let's not be, let's not just go with what's there. Let's actually be not lazy and cut down some, some bling and run it right the way across or along the, the ruffle and we'll just see. So, yeah. Okay. Like that. Okie dokie. And then, yeah, let's just put that down like that. Oh my goodness. I mean, how gorgeous does that look? And that's like no effort whatsoever there. So let's just put this, some glue right the way down the middle. Get the bling, pop that down there. Okie dokie, and then just snip that off here. Like that. Just going to dab a little tiny bit of glue here. Like that. Okay. Oh my goodness, how lovely does that pocket look? It's so pretty, isn't it? So yeah, I absolutely love it. And that was just literally two seconds flat. I mean, you know, no kind of big drama trying to decorate that up or anything it just looks gorgeous doesn't it so yeah we've got obviously a side loading pocket in here oops sorry I have glue threads now stuck on me side loading pockets in here and then obviously if you glued it onto a page you could glue it on say three sides and you'd have then a top top loading pocket here and then your side loading pocket in there which of course you know you could make a really nice journal card to have poking through your window as well so yeah, really, really, really super cute. And like I say, I haven't actually decorated the ones up that we made previously. So perhaps we'll come back and do like a sort of 
big decorating um you know video kind of decorating up some of these so hope that you like them and um yeah thank you so much for watching i hope you have fun if you decide to make some of these and yeah thank you so much and i will see you guys tomorrow thanks then bye